Oh, oh hey. Oh, hey, you're here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, I'm in the club. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Owning a club is fun. <laughs> but I'm not so sure it's good for our health. <laughs> Things turn everyone into an accountant. Well, maybe for you. <laughs> Not so sure that's what's happening to me, Tony. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's have uh, some of the no-name whiskey. I like this whiskey. It's like the Black Label. Yeah. Woo. All right. Maybe a shot for you guys. Yeah. A spot here. Because then I can slam it down. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm the Missing Talk. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. Today, we are going to get ourselves a new collector car. Yeah, we've been collecting some some supercars, and uh, today is a good day to add one another one to the collection. Another one on sale, actually. So here's to you guys. Thanks to you guys for uh, liking, subscribing, just for being here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head there. Step away from the table. <laughs> All right, so let's head out of the club. Go pick up our stuff. So down there is our Ocelot uh, sh Shagwire, our uh, Ocelot Swinger. Yeah, got that a little while ago. I think it's a good club decora decoration for now. Leave it, I kind of leave it parked right there for now. Although I do take it out. It's kind of a crazy car. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's very fast um, and very stylish, obviously. <laughs> But it can lose control in an instant, you know. It's funny how you can you can drive very fast and go very far, but in a moment it can all turn south. <laughs> Let's head out. So today we're going to get ourselves another Ocelot car. And uh, in GTA, um, at least in GTA 5, um, the uh, Ocelot is generally considered to be Jaguar. So we're going to get ourselves a new one. So here's our XA21, or Ocelot XA21 right here too. Thought I'd show you guys that one too. We'll sit inside. Order from there. Yeah, it's a nice supercar. It's got the automatic spoiler at the back and everything. It's a little pricey though, and not necessarily the best performing either. Although it's very, very nice though. I love my XA21. <laughs> All right, so let's head into Legendary Motorsport. All right, and it's a little bit down the list here. All right, there it is. So it's part of the import export DLC from. Um, well, I guess a year or two ago now already. But yeah, that's basically when they brought out the CEO car warehouses. So, yeah. And it's normally 880000 So if you ask me, that's actually a pretty decent price, at least by today's uh, supercar standards. You know, they go up to 2 to $3 million. There's many that are above $1 million, like the Tempesta here beside it. Um, so it's actually got some decent uh, stats for a car that's 880000 So we're going to get it for 40% off, uh, and that equals uh, 528000 for us right now. Yay. So if you guys want to enjoy that, and hopefully you can you can get it uh, on a sale in the future, or if you're lucky enough to uh, get it this week, um, I think until October 8th. Yeah, so in the night of October 8th, it'll change over to a new sale. So until October 8th, it's 40% off for 520000 Yeah. Seats too, like almost all the supercars, I think. And uh, yeah, so like I said, 880000 that's actually not too bad. Um, we usually use Bruffy 1322's testing. He does a great job of his testing. And uh, generally speaking, out of the supercars, which I think is about 37 supercars, it might be more than that now. Um, it's hard to keep track because they're always adding them, uh, new ones here and there. But uh, out of roughly about 37 cars, it's uh, 20 second in lap time. So that's your tight turns and all that kind of stuff. And top speed's uh, about 15th. So it's kind of middle of the pack. But that's pretty good for that kind of price, if you ask me, especially for the price we're going to get it for. And then on top of that, um, some people might consider that a well-rounded car. So we'll have to see for ourselves, but it's like not too great on the traction, but not too great on the tough speed. But it kind of gives you a, the, a mix of both worlds. I guess you could say a jack of all trades and master of none. So, uh, but sometimes that's a, that's a good car to have on a track that's mixed. You know, if you had a, a track with lots of top speed straightaways, but it winded up to the mountain at some point, uh, a good well-rounded car can actually do you well if you're into that kind of racing stuff. All right, the Ocelot Penetrator. <laughs> it came out on uh, Valentine's Day too, I believe. So adding to the penetrator name. Yep. Close your eyes. Cast your mind back to your early teens. You're lying in bed, 
hand gyrating at incredible speed under the covers, your eyes fixed on the torch-lit centerfolds pinned on to the back of your wardrobe. That sumptuous body, those exquisite curves, that billowing rear exhaust. Now open your eyes. Your hand is still in your pants, but the dream is real. Finish the job. <laughs> oh, man, I love these descriptions sometimes. <laughs> But she is sexy. These pictures do not do her justice, so we're going to get one and, and see. So there she is in red. Yeah, and I think we might do a, a dark one, so I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll save the black for later. Maybe we should get a white. Yeah, we've seen her XA21. That's a bright green. Hmm, an orange. Maybe a blue. Hmm. Hmm. Yellow's always nice on these cards, too, sometimes. And the off orange. Very McLaren y. Not quite McLaren orange. Well, maybe we will get it in white. We'll have a look at that. Yeah. I keep thinking about trying it this way. I don't know why. Yeah, sure. Why not? We're going to change it to a different bay job anyway. So, <laughs> Order. Del Barrel Bites. All right. There we go. Been ordered. All right. So let's head around the corner. Go pick it up. Yeah, so this is another one that I wanted to add to the collection. It's kind of a classic looking supercar. Some people actually think it should be in the, the classics, the sports classics instead of the supercars, but it's always hard to say. Rockstar kind of splits those up, but many of the uh, the sports classics are supercars back in their day. And then many supercars, they make uh, a supercar, you know, like many classics nowadays, they've actually made a supercar. And in many ways, this one is. Ooh, I went a little too far. I went to her office ahead of time, showing off the XA21. <laughs> Yeah, she's got a great sound. Great traction too. I have to get used to it. It can flip around really easily. It's got a small profile, so it uh, it fits very well everywhere. All right, some coffee while we wait. I decided to park our Ellie in here. <laughs> Our Eleanor mixed with uh, with uh, John Wick's Mustang. Yep, nice little fun collector car. Yeah, so this car is uh, generally considered to be a Jaguar XJ220. So a lot of people really like it for that reason. And uh, if you do the right parts, and in general at the front of this car, we're gonna have a look at that as soon as it arrives, um, it can appear to be an XJ220. 220s twr which is their race version their tune track version yeah on the jaguar car so it's kind of cool adding to our jaguar collection there it is our new orange penetrator Woohoo! so at the front it's kind of got a little bit more of a uh, xj220 stwr's version than the regular version but otherwise it's considered to be an xj220 Awesome. Which is, uh, for some people that don't know, a classic supercar from Jaguar, but well, I'd say it depends on the year, but about uh, 20 years ago. Again, we're kind of guessing because they're not exact cars. Rockstar's kind of uh, mixing other cars with it. Some people see pieces of Lamborghini in this. Some people see uh, uh, bumpers from Bugatti in this. Like, they usually like to mix it up. Yeah. But generally speaking, it's, it's generally recognized as an XJ220. It has all-wheel drive. So uh, that's kind of cool. It's uh, set up with uh, 30, 70, so 30% 30 power in the front and 70% power in the back. Yep. And apparently it has really great traction, especially when you consider how long the vehicle is. Yeah. Look at that engine. A V12 hanging in the back. Very nice. Very happy with that for the price so far. All right. And those are some custom rims too. I think I might change mine, but uh, they're kind of different. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they can be, can be colored. At least that's what I'd heard, but I haven't tried ourselves. It's always good to try yourself. But I do see a little bit of a shine to them. Yeah, and that, that particular kind of rim is very similar to a real-life rim that they've used for the Jaguar. Mm, nice. Yeah, we didn't hear that very well, so I'll hop back in. But it's just kind of a gentle purr there. It is a supercar. But if you ask me, it's a beefy supercar, <laughs> just by the look of it. 
stick it out. Yeah, some super guards are like, I don't know how how would I explain it? Like they're like a like a they dance like a ninja. Yeah, like a ninja. And then other super guards are kind of like a brute that's brought under control. <laughs> you know, like like James Bond. You know, a brute brought under control, made to be gentlemanly. You know, maybe Bruce Wayne too, perhaps. You know. I would say Batman counts as a, he might be a good guy, but he's a good thug. <laughs> but when he's Bruce Wayne, he's a gentleman, you know? In many ways, most of the time. <laughs> so I would say that this is a brute brought in as a gentleman, brought in as James Bond, being it's a Jaguar. Yeah, it's got a nice suit on now. <laughs> so it's got lots of go in it, just as a stock car. Not bad. And it's got a little bit of oversteer, some people say. Like you can see it slide pretty easily for me. Now some people like that. We've talked about that in the past, that some people use that to their advantage and like to power slide a lot. Or if you like to drift, a lot of people like to look for cars that spin out of control easier. And uh, to some people, this is one of the better supercars for that. There's not too many supercars that you can really do it well of. That's just my opinion. But a lot of the supercars uh, have too much traction to be good at that. Yeah. Which is a good thing, but, but not for people that want to play around with it. Most of the time you'd get a different car for that, but still, if you want a supercar that can do it, this one's uh, not a bad choice, from what I've heard. I'm happy with it so far. Alright. It's got a nice supercar sound. Nice Jaguar race car purr. Yep. Does not have popping out lights, just regular lights. Apparently that's one detail that's different from real life. Not bad. Maybe we should open it up. Before we go in. <laughs> Maybe not right there. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Oh, it's okay. It'll fix inside. <laughs> We're going to upgrade it anyway. But I was a little disappointed. I was hoping the, uh, the back would go. Nope. Nothing under the, the front. But I guess you can't see a better better look on the engine. That's okay though. No pictures yet. Just not ready. <laughs> in we go. We'll take it into our office uh, mod job. Yeah, so not bad for 40% off. And not bad even at full price for 880. Very popular car for the import export. A lot of the uh, promotional pictures that Rockstar had all had this car in different colors um, and in different shapes. They almost look like different cars, but if you look closely, they're actually the uh, the same car, the Penetrator. <laughs> yeah, very cool. And there's our uh, our other ocelot, our uh, Praia. Yeah, very cool. That one's a sports car. Unlike this one, that's a supercar. All right, in we go. What can we do to it? What are you after? Pardon me there. Adjust that. Okay. Armor. Armor is what we're after first. Fifty thousand dollars, please. Well, no. I present armor first. <laughs> Be nice if that was free. If I was going to say please. <laughs> anyway, fully armed. Race brakes, thirty-five thousand. Think long and hard. Bumpers. Mm. Engine. Oh, it's got some engine options. That's good. Exhaust options. So some options in there. Transmission. We'll upgrade that for forty thousand. I hope you know how to use this thing. Mmm, nice little purr there. Hum increased. Turbo over fifty thousand. The cops stop you. Don't tell them I installed that. <laughs> the cops don't stop me. <laughs> All right, our windows. We might tint that in a minute. Yeah, maybe we'll do that now. No tint. There it is, an orange black. Yeah, she does look great. Now, to me, this makes me like this is a totally different car, guys. Um, totally out of left field. But to me, this kind of reminds me. It's not quite right. But it reminds me of the um, the Wraith car, for those that remember that that cheesy 80s movie. It was like a movie from 1986, I think, 86. Um, but yeah, that was a uh, um, an M4S, I believe, yeah, Dodge M4S. Um, turbo Interceptor, yeah. 
So The Wraith was kind of a movie, a car movie, and it was kind of a weird uh, modern take, I guess you could say, on, on The Wraith story. So a guy gets murdered by a gang and he comes back as a wraith, which is kind of a ghost with a car like this, kind of, in, in darker. And I think I'm actually going to paint it kind of like it. Not quite like it because you can't do the same job, but a, but a darker, um, a black gold. So, yeah. But to me, this has a very similar profile. Um, if this window up here, like this kind of dro drops down a little bit, giving that little bit of a teardrop shape. But if it just went straight back, it would be almost just right. Yeah. For the look of it including having the engine in the back and everything. Although certain details are different though. But I almost wonder if they had that certain car in mind as well as the XJ220 when they made it. It's definitely an XJ220 though. But yeah, like I said, you can look that car up if you want. It's one of those cheesy movies and one of those movies that a lot more people have seen than they think. They think they haven't seen it and then you look, watch it and you're like, oh yeah, I've seen this somewhere. Somewhere in my life I've seen this before. Yeah, it's a race movie with cars. Races for uh, pink slips. Yeah. Anyway, headlights. Xenon lights for 7,500. And I think we are going to get into our parts. Yeah, we'll get into the paint job after, I guess. All right, so bumpers. Front bumper. Open grill. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And it's almost a darker grill, too. It's shinier. That's blacker. Carbon chin. Open with carbon chin. Carbon splitter. An open grill with carbon splitter. That's kind of cool. Very race. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of like that that uh, front the way it is though. Even though the race car end of it is pretty nice. If you were going for that uh, XJ220 STWR look, you might want something like that to make it the race version. But I think it looks a little bit meaner with this. Now let's see. Open grill with carbon bumper. Or just uh, open grill with bumper. Hmm. Well. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permitting. Yeah, I think I might go with the uh, the carbon bumper. Why not? A little bit more dark highlight. We'll see. I might change that. Maybe we should see what the skirts are like first. Hmm. Oh, lots of skirts. So there's plenty of options with this car so far. Comparatively speaking, anyway. Street skirts. Yep, so you've got your regular custom carbon and street skirts. And part carbon street skirts. Hmm. Invert street skirts. Full carbon. GT skirts. That gives you a little fin right there. Yep. He doesn't like when I use the controller and the mouse at the same time. Kind of jitters. All right, carbons, GT skirts, and inverted. That's cool that they give you the options. Think long and, hard. and then they're full carbon. You know, I kind of like that inverted because then it makes a little fin stick out just a little bit more. Body work to match the driver. Yeah. Now that said, I think that helps me with my bumpers. So I'm going to go back and I am going to pick the one with the uh, carbon grill, carbon bumper, just to match that skirt now. Looks almost as good as you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, rear, rear bumper. So chrome splitters. So it already has the uh, splitters in black there. And you just chrome them up. Custom, which is just removed. I think. Yeah, I don't see anything else changed, just the, uh, just removed. Making decisions hmm. is stressful. And carbon body bumper. That's kind of cool. Kind of gives you lines, but otherwise the exact same form. And then inverted it. Inverted carbon tail bumper. And carbon arrow bumper. What's the, uh, I don't really notice much of a difference other than the color colors changing and inverting to the different positions. I don't really see too much between the uh, the arrow. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 
That is a hard one. Nope. I think I might go with the carbon tail arrow bumper. Yeah. Just helps things stand out a little bit more. I think. Sold. Oh, one more second. Pardon me, guys. I'm gonna have to cough there. <clears throat> and I got a little bit more coffee. Let you know. <laughs> All right. So, seeing as we're already at the rear bumper, the exhausts. So, dual titanium exhaust, dual chromed titanium exhaust, twin racing exhaust. Hmm, different. Dual titanium racing exhaust. Cool. Off to the side like that. And the twin titanium racing exhaust. It's like double visited exhausts. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But I don't know if I quite want that. Yeah. What do I want though? So they're all titanium tipped. There's none that are not. Yep, they all have got that blue ring on them. There's no no other chrome ones or carbon ones or anything like that. Yeah, well, I guess you, the best you get is that chromed back, dual chromed titanium exhaust. I think I might actually go with the dual, the twin racing. Yeah, it's kind of different though. I like that. It's kind of cool, but I think I like that better. More classic look, I think. Twin racing exhaust, 3000. Mm -hmm. All right, our hood. Standard hood. Barely see the difference, really. But the natural hood has got vents there. You can just barely see when I go like that. You can see the little fin at the very front of the car. And uh, I'll just change it when I'm over here. And you can see how it disappears. So the standard hood's pretty much the same. Just gets rid of it. Nice flat hood. How many yep. cars scooped hood. Again? Carbon scooped. Standard carbon hood. And carbon hood and scooped carbon head. Hmm. Already going to do a paint job on it, so I don't think we need the need the parts necessarily. Hmm. Like the whole carbon thing, so. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? But the scooped head's not bad. I do like that standard clean look, though. I think I'm going to go with that standard head. Nice not cleaned a bad out look. Job. Yeah, we'll see. 3,000. But I think I'm going to keep that for now. Our plate, missing Zog plate. Much better. Yellow and black. Okay, spoiler. Now, when it comes to the spoiler, um, you do want a spoiler of some sort. Even though it already has a built-in spoiler, it doesn't actually count as a spoiler. I don't know why Rockstar does that. <laughs> but you can see the, um, the, uh, the uh, stats over here. And the traction here will change just slightly when I add a spoiler to it. So it doesn't matter which ones you pick, just like other cars, but you do need to pick one. No so it's worth remembering because many people see the spoiler and assume you don't need one for that extra little bit. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, it doesn't count as a spoiler. That counts really as none. Yeah. Drift wing. Carbon wing. Tuner wing. Carbon wing type 2. And GT wing. Ooh. I like how it's got the uh, the full um, straps there, like uh, yeah, cables. That's cool. Yeah. So apparently, which one is it? I would say it gives it more of the uh, the um, TWR look when it has the body matching one. I think it's that one there, and I think I might actually go with that. I do like that one though. I'm tempted to just leave it because it is just for collector anyway. A nice low one like that. Hmm, hard decisions. And that's nice too, the tuner wing. Yep. Yeah. And even with that big wing, you still have your original spoiler on there too. Technology and budget permitted. But I kinda like how that matches with the uh, the body work and the paint job, so drift wing. I think so. I think so. Very. 
All right, so we got our armor, our bumpers, our engine. Engine, no, we did not. Engine tunes, level four, 33,500. Mm, a little more air getting through there now. Air filters. Oh, I guess I should have not tinted after all. <laughs> oh, well. I can barely see them, but we can always go to first person, maybe. There we go. All right, so we can get the chrome air filter or the triple chrome air filter, black air filter, triple air filter, angled ram pipes, and swept back ram pipes. And then there's the stock. So I do like the changes. Mm, black is nice. Chrome is nice. Think long and hard. Mm, chrome air filter, triple. Well, that's a hard decision. I do like the black on there too. But I think I'm actually going to go with that triple chrome. I kind of like the extra detail of the triple instead of the single. But both look good. Making decisions is stressful. All right. Oh, let's get back in there. Valve covers. <laughs> black covers. Nice. Painted covers. And chrome covers. Hmm. Well, I'm probably going to go painted covers, I think. You've got an eye for this stuff. Although I'm probably going to change the paint job now. Okay. Respray. And only one color, guys. So just primary color. Which is too bad. It'd be nice if we could... Uh, it would be nice if we could um, do two-tone. You know, if it had a bottom tone and a top tone or something like that. And of course, you could always just do it the same color and have a solid color anytime you wanted to. If Rockstar had made it that way. Hmm. There it is in Chrome. Very hot wheels. <laughs> cool. Spacey. And matte black. Stealth black. Does a very good job. Especially with some black rims. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? All right. And then metallic. Need a little bit of coffee there. Oh, oh pardon me. Sorry guys, I had coffee there. Yeah, a little bit of a frog today, I guess. Just a little tickle back there, it just won't go away. Oh well. It'll be alright. <laughs> okay, so, yep, there's some silvers. And I'm thinking about using something like that. We'll see. Yep, stone silvers. And there it is in red and black. Which again is a very nice look. If you can think it, but most supercars do a really good red. I'd say not too many supercars don't look good in red. <laughs> yep, salmon pinks. Oranges now. Sunrise orange. Regular orange. And bright orange. Just kind of nice, a little golden. Actually kind of looks good. Decent on that car. Yep, gold. Decent on that car. Bronze. Yellow. And race yellow. Yellow actually looks Whatever pretty good. You Technology and budget permitting. Race yellow looks nice, but a little off, if you ask me on this one. Do yellow. <laughs> Dark greens. Does a great green. Especially things like the sea foam and the sea greens kind of thing. Yeah. So that's kind of a nice color. Very classic color for the uh, XJ220 as well. Colors that are similar to that. Life is hard when you can have anything. But I don't feel like a green one today. But it would certainly be very uh, traditional to give it that. I guess you could say. Bleached brown. That looks alright on there. Yep, spinnaker purples. Midnight purple. Bright purple. Cream. Cream looks really nice. Ice white. And frost white. Yep, some extras, lava reds, hot pink. Again, very hot wheels. <laughs> I like 
the Doys gasoline greens, very similar to that green we were talking about. Lime greens. Making decisions is stressful. And a shiny black. Which I think is pretty awesome. Now I was gonna try to do like a I don't know, a dark dark gold, like black gold. Black gold, yeah. So I don't know if I should actually use black, because black's a little dark. So for what I'm looking for. I do want dark, but not that dark. Hmm. Maybe uh um, yeah, try to see if we can do something similar to that, to that uh, M4S. Hmm. Yeah, it's stone silver. Looks really bright on that one. Most cars, it looks very, very dark. Hmm. Do you need a drink? But this card actually looks very bright. Or and that's actually a really nice silver, to be honest. Really nice silver. I think maybe a little bit darker. That's what I'm looking for. Dark steel, black steel, maybe. Hmm. No rush at all. Oh, that anthracite black might be good. Yeah, we can always come back and forth if we need to. Here, I'm probably looking for something that gives it that golden touch. I might give it gold, actually, actual gold, but sometimes you can get that effect with oranges, yellows, browns, even. Hmm. If you can think it, so there's the gold. Not bad for a goldy silver. But I think the bronze might actually be better. Hmm. And or we could brighten it up with the yellow. Hmm. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permit. Just gonna have a look at the browns for a second. Sienna brown's a nice bright red kind of brown. Has a somewhat bronzing almost effect sometimes. Hmm, saddle brown. Life is hard when you can have anything. Hmm. hmm. See, I did like the yellow look. There it is. But it's just a little bit brighter than I wanted for my black gold. That's what I was thinking about. Maybe that bright orange. Very similar to the yellow. There's yellow. Bright orange. Yellow. Bright orange. <laughs> but the bright orange is just a little bit dimmer than that yellow. Yeah, it kind of gives me that gold. That dark. Making decisions is stressful. Yep, so I think the bright orange might do, but. I am going to change our color. So there's anthracite. I think I might go to the carbon black. Body work to match the driver. Just something a little bit darker. Let's try that again. With our bright orange. Or was it bright orange? Yeah. Versus the yellow. Yeah. And gold is nice, but a little bit darker that I was looking for. Doesn't quite stand out as good as I wanted. Yeah, that's kind of the effect I'm looking for. See, like without the shade, without the light hitting it, it's got that black look. But as you go around, it kind of changes it to like a golden dawn. Something of that nature, you know. Hopefully you guys can see what I mean, but that's kind of the look I was looking for. That's what I'll do. Bright orange, burlescence. On the anthracite black, I think it was. Okay, now our wheels. 
We all tight. Hmm. Now, actually, I'm not sure if there is a certain one. I'm just going to go through these for a moment. No rush at all. That one's not too bad, actually. And again, I was looking for ones that would kind of match that, uh, that Dodge M4S, the uh, Wraith car. Yeah. See if we can do our version of the Turbo Interceptor. And that actually looks really well. The El Jefe. The El Jefe, the boss. <laughs> you know, I know that. I know that from Ash vs. Evil Dead. <laughs> I know that from other places, but that's where I always think of it that from these days. <laughs> the Jefe. Yep, it's from a whole bunch of things, actually. Of course. Uh, revolver's really nice, so there's a lot of good, good looks for this car. So you can go sport, you can go high end, you can go rich, like maybe the Dash VIP would look great on this. Um, I mean, I should probably show you instead of talk about it, right? But uh, where is it? Dash VIP. Yeah, might want to color them. These are all just stock, right? Or go chrome if you're looking for something fancier. Yeah, it's a lot of mean looks, and a lot of great looks. Another popular one for this car would uh, probably be the um, yeah, Wagon Master here and uh, Supervive. No, where is it here? Oh, there's another Dash VIP. Shows up in a couple of categories. That one I think is a little bit better. I'm not sure what it is that's different about it, but it's just a little bit better. Yeah. Is it the Deep Six? Hmm. Yeah, it is those two. Yeah, Rough Weld and Wagon Master. Yeah, if we did that in black, it would look very nice. So those are just some popular choices that a lot of people use, but there's a lot of really nice tires you can do with it and do color combinations, depending on your car color. You know, sometimes it's good to add some of that color to the uh, rim. Now for me, I think I am going to go with what we were looking at there. I think that actually, you know, after looking at pictures earlier, that matches better than I thought it would. Now, it should have a mesh. There is a car, there is a rim in here somewhere that has the right mesh. It's actually the default one on the Phoenixes, if you find them in the streets out there. It's very similar to it anyway. Hmm, apparently it's not. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a tuner. Yeah, it is a tuner. How about that? Yep, super mesh. So that's actually a very, very good look. That's another. Um, I think that's actually the way they made it. So the Dodge M4S was a um, was a pace car, but it was a concept car that never really came out. A lot of people really think it should have came out. And it was kind of ahead of its curve. That's why they kind of used it for the inspiration for the movie The Wraith. Yep. And I think it's a nice little crossover we got going here from the uh, from the Jaguar from a new new addition to our Ocelot collection. Yep. And a crossover with a movie car. <laughs> kind of, but I'm surprised actually. I wasn't. I didn't want to call it that right as we started because I wasn't sure how it would come out if I'd like it or not. But actually looking at it, it's not right. But it, it's a pretty decent re representation, if you ask me. Yeah. So it had gold rims. So I think we're gonna actually go with that. So the other one looks not bad. There's a couple other choices if you're looking for that kind of look. That that are similar. But uh, I think the super mesh is probably our best choice. Yep, and it even has the uh, chrome rim around it, just like a lot of the real life ones did. So there it is, sold. All right, wheel color. Now, let's see what we can find. Gold, perfect. The straw brown's not bad, dark copper. Okay, bronze. Maybe we'll look at it from the other way here. Star Brown's not bad. Subtle. But I think the gold's the way. Because I'm actually going for that look, and they did do gold with it. Some of the toys and stuff added as yellow, but it was actually gold. Yeah. So I think that actually does a really good job of doing the uh, doing the representation. You could do it slightly darker, though, too. 
but it's hard to get that that pearlescence just right with only one tone again if uh, rockstar gave us uh, two a primary and a secondary maybe some stuff could have been done though still it's pretty good i like it i like that all right so tire design do we want any of that mm. it's not bad not needed I guess we'll leave it clean. Life is hard when you can have anything. But I usually do use that. Bulletproof tires, that's a must. <laughs> For our wreath. 25,000. And tire smoke. Hmm, black. And brown. Could do a brown tire smoke. Hmm. I don't really have a gold. It'd be either black or gold. We'll go black. Yeah. All right, everybody, so I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything this time, hopefully. <laughs> yep, I think we got it all. Horn, lights. Yep, not going to give it any neon lights. Although, you know, in the movie it was kind of like electric. It was kind of a, an alien ghost guard kind of thing, so... You could always give it some lights. And it might actually give it that nice glow. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to. But it wouldn't be a bad look for it, though, to give it uh, certain colors. Or even just a white underglow. All right, let's exit the ground. See you next time. Oh, pardon me. All right, so it's also tempting to do the matte pearlescent trick on this one, too, using matte the black with the gold but I think it's a little bit better like this a lot of people knew it as the uh, I think it was actually a pace car too for uh, for racing for a little while too so it got around on a lot of tours a lot of people really liked to look at the car back in the day yep nice looking concept car and a nice looking Jaguar obviously <laughs> all right and I don't think I have any black dark gold cars like this actually so I think that's the first yeah, and a not bad representation for our wraith car either. There it is. Okay, nice simple interior though. I do like the gear shifter in there if you guys can see that. Not much to see. You don't use it, but I do kind of like that. I don't remember seeing that in too many cars. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. And I do like that look, the big end, because it's the classic look I'm looking for, though, for a collector car. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Nothing shows up under your trunk. Although it does have an intercooler there, though, apparently. What it cools, who knows? <laughs> your feet? <laughs> I don't know. It's the engine's way back here, but... Maybe it's through the tubes that would go all the way around here, but you'd think that would kind of just defeat the purpose. But these vents would work. What's <laughs> uh, up, it? And restore. All right. Oh, no, I know. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd get to wear this or not. Uh, there we go. <laughs> now I'm ready, just like the movie, the raid. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody, it's just me, not really a ghost. <laughs> All right, so there's a nice new addition to our Ocelot collection, nice new addition to our supercar garage. Yeah, I'm very happy with that already, whether or not I ever race with it. And like I said, for that price, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice little treat too. Definitely feels like it was worth the money. That's kind of bouncy. I like looking at those wheels. It's got a decent suspension system in it. The back, the back end likes to slide a little bit, but not too much.
Very cool. All right. So hopefully you guys like that or and got some ideas for your own. And like I said, if you happen to get one before um, October 8th is over, you can save some even more money and uh, get a decent car like this for just over half a million. Of course, more than that after you get upgrades. You can always store it in your garage and wait for a, wait for a mechanic sale or something. They do those often. Save even more. But I, I'm sometimes not patient enough for that. <laughs> As you can see, that window doesn't line up on the back. It's kind of off a little bit. That's actually a feature of the car. So some people thought that was an accident or a misalignment. It's actually the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, kind of forgot to mention that. I forgot all about that, actually. Let's see if we can get that. But it's hard to see that little lip, like up close. But you can see the little lip right there. Sorry. <laughs> but if you actually look closely, there is a little tiny little uh, window right there. A little tiny little barrier. So some people thought that was a mistake on Rockstar's part. And some people, I think, still do, but it's actually not. It's apparently as designed. It's supposed to be like a, I don't know, a wind scoop, I guess. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. All right. So hopefully you guys like that, our new uh, Ocelot Penetrator, <laughs> and also a Mach M4S uh, Turbo Interceptor, yep. or at least our take on it. Yep, not bad. I definitely think this is the best card to do a version of that with in the game. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm tempted to get a tattoo. We forgot to do that. I meant to do that on our subscriber special, and I forgot. Yep. Well, maybe we'll do it more live. Yeah, this is why I don't have tattoos, though. <laughs> That's because I keep forgetting. I am not kidding. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do that next time. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoy this. Yep. I'm going to head out here over here to the beach, and I'll let you guys go. And then, if anybody gets me, I got a car for vengeance. <laughs> to be like the movie, all it needs is a little bit of electrical... Static here and there, that'd be a nice little touch. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. And I'll see you again soon. Thinking about getting some more cars too. Mm -hmm. no. You got a job. <laughs> Yeah, I am liking that. And there's, uh, no deformation. Lights to work. <laughs> We're good. Oh, can we make it? No, we can't make it. Oh, it's so hard to catch that turn without a bike. Or Franklin's slow motion ability. That jump failed. Yeah. I thought that broke through. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought that little beam would fall out. I thought we'd crash through it. No. No, supercars don't crash through concrete beams. <laughs> I guess I should have known that. They don't do that so well. Bulldozers do that much better than supercars. Yeah. It's too bad that doesn't work in the game. Try that again. Ooh. <laughs> That's definitely a bike jump. <laughs> uh, it's a mean race.
race car. Look out, everybody. here is finished. Before I do, I want you to have some. She's yours now. Turbo Interceptor. The only one in existence. Does very special things. Take care of it, will you? 